Johnny King three dollars. But oh, this, don't this, bring that up. Does Chad have a roommate? Yeah, you might have to get one if we don't lift the strike. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and you guys want to move in? They can both have their own refrigerator. Chad said all about all that. Chad said all that about Bob's family. Bob just lights up another cigarette. Tear him a new one. KB for life. Yeah, Bob's a class act. I've been saying it no, for years. No, I, 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 I'm just explaining situations like what I said. And no, I know. That's what it well, we is. don't have it's time. Like, we don't have. We don't have time. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're trying to just clarify, but 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 yeah, you could still you still handle it way better than. Uh, Bob, I I'm sorry I, I for would've. jumping off half cock and and never giving you the better of that out. I apologize about that. I just never. I never tried to. I know. Teach you anything wrong? And I, okay, and I, I took it the wrong way. I but I was hurt. I was hurt. There's no way to take it. I acted what? out. I chat. You want to jump off? or You want to read super chats? Um, I got a, I got 15 minutes. I'm doing a gig tonight, so. All right, do your plugs. No, all right, that's fine. I yeah, chat, I probably don't. Chad is What's such that? a buffoon. He's broke with no YouTube channel. Has a chance to come on and get things back on track, but he doesn't want to wait for ski mask. I'm just like, come on already! Like this guy's bringing. Well, that nothing. was a while ago. That's been on the screen for a while uh jules david you've been playing us for two hours you've been playing us for two hours about chad coming on now you wanted to do it another day and uh, this is a little bit late yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people are pissed i came on to i was like jesus i was trying to fix but what does it matter really what does it matter it's all about just doing a show nice you says lost all respect happy. for chad not that i had any i really thought he would have clicked the link that's not that's sad that's not nice i guess that's a little bit Listen, if I didn't feel bad with Bob a little, because I know Bob and I spent a lot of time on the phone, I wouldn't have come on. And I, I Kevin, I, 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 I don't know, man. I thought we got along before. I don't I know. I don't. I don't get. It. Hold on. Unknown comic. Just read sex act names to Bob and let him laugh at them. That's the best content I've ever seen on this show. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. The rusty trombone. Yeah. Now Bob. Bob's got a. Speaking of Blumpkins, hi Chad. What's a Blumpkin oh, again? I forgot. Oh, what that oh that's like. when you're taking a dump and Take somebody blurs you. How many times has that happened in the history of man? Like you're taking nice. a dump and somebody blows you every weekend <laughs> to finish. Uh, gobble gobble, speak the truth, Chad. Oh, gobble gobble's on your side. Well, that's no. It's like you. No, you people speak like the to truth. fight. People like the fight. They like the fight of it. They, yeah, they. But if you if you speak the truth, there's no denying it. Then you know. Yeah, but it's not. Nothing. It's your truth is not his truth, and vice versa. Nice. Chad is on. That's nice. Nice. $10. Thanks. Nice. Thanks. Nice and fake nice. Double nice. An ace. RT3000. Adam, how many rest of <laughs> Trump rounds have you given? Wow. That's personal. Adam's going to take the fifth. Tune in tomorrow. Three, uh, three and three quarters. <laughs> Damn. Was what, is that traffic in the background? No, that's uh, the leveling the yard out. Oh, your pool? Yeah. What they just showed up, or they've been working all day? No, they've been they've been uh, at the end of the day. They just had to do a little more work on the right. side. And all right, well, it. I'll text Borgo. Rodney King, three dollars. I'll text Borgo and, and see if he thinks it's Memorial Day Monday or the thirty first. Rodney King, three dollars. Chad, quipping a diva. You are a piazza. I think he's Thanks. saying. I think this before you were you came on. He didn't want. Thanks, it. Rodney. Chad, pay Pat Dixon. Yeah, pay Pat Dixon. That wasn't a bet. You said you would, give him, you would give him eight hundred dollars. If anyone... I really, I, I really had no recollection. I did okay, that. That's not, that's, that's not. That's not. Just, that's not how it works. That's not, I was that's living. Pat doesn't even give a shit. We talked. No, we we had him. Yeah. Well. Uh, let's fucking go. The Trinity is back. Bon Levy. <laughs> that's a good picture, Bob. That's you when you're a green hair face. Yeah, I guess. Uh, KLC is back. Nice is correct, sir. That's nice. Nice. So how, is this a different nice? Uh, I think that's the second one. Because a different color uh, letter? 
Oh, this guy's back. He hasn't been around for a month. Oh, man, I haven't seen him. Barry Wood, NOK50. Finally, speaking of rusty <laughs> trombones, I'm getting hungry, guys. <laughs> Barry Wood. Oh, wow. We really haven't seen it. These guys are coming out of the woodwork, literally. Or the sauna. Sergeant Whoa. Barnes, $2. Get me. Uh, yeah, I can't read that. I don't want to get Chad too emotional. Get me yeah. my you Piazza, Sergeant Barnes. I'm still I'm still a fan. It's, it's too soon. It's too soon, uh, Sergeant Barnes. <laughs> Brownie King, yeah. five dollars. Chad, explain how you play victim like this when you're telling people to report MLC. Quit being such a dishonest hack. Listen, Adam takes him down right after. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, because we're smart. Like why wouldn't throw. we? I know why? what you were doing. I know that's what we, I was doing. Why wouldn't we? Because we, I, I, why would I let fucking all the hacks out there? It's like we don't do anything wrong, but it's like mm. I don't know the fucking rules. YouTube makes up their own fucking rules. They pay you when they want. They make up their own rules. Beloved Chatter, welcome back to the chat. Uh, welcome back to the chat. He did it first. I got bad advice, and now my fault. Spin cycle. Beloved Chatter, isn't he a fan of yours, Chad? Yeah. So he's shitting on you here, or he's shitting on me too? I don't know. Who knows? I see this beloved chatter in Chad's chat constantly, <laughs> and now he comes over here to shit on Chad. So at some drama. level, huh? They just want drama. They don't. On some level, they yeah, they just want uh, James Jones, Reverend James Jones. Uh, yeah, we had a big week with him again. Thank you. Radio, radio fail. Comedy fail. Credit card uh, fraud fail. Podcasting fail. You're not cut for out for this, Chad. Just sell oranges on the corner. That's kind of mean. Made you sell nine, give nine and ninety nine. Don't say nothing about any. Don't say anything about anybody's baby. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> the baby again. <laughs> Robbie Z, Mo, Larry, and Tubby. Wow, I'm a mud shark. You and me, Chad. Best five minutes. Best five minutes wins. You should only know real work, hack. Yeah, I mean this is not real work, so he's right about that. Yeah, well, we gave people some entertainment today, and you can't deny that. It's undeniable whether you like me or not. Riles, $5. The three amigos are back. Yeah. How long that lasts? They, they only did one movie together, right? The three amigos? But it's a classic. Yeah, yeah but why didn't they make a sequel? Well, they did uh, uh, Blues Brothers 2, and that was terrible. Who, Martin Short, and he was in that? No, the, I'm oh, saying, they saying did... Blues Brothers. Oh. They, but they could have done three amigos. They could have done three amigos forever because those guys were all funny together. Valley for life, uh, Chad. You can't get mad at the at the whore jokes. You were the first one to bring up your mom and joke about how she performed certain acts in order to keep a guy around to pay the pay the bills. Valley for life. Doing the show every day is a grind, and you don't know. It, it all blends together at one point, so you don't know what you said, what you didn't say. So, so when you say say what I said, I go, I don't know. Because every show seemed like a rerun. Well, you can't remember what I said and Kevin said, but not remember what you said. That's all. Okay. Well, I'll say this, Bob. Look, give me some time to think about it tonight, and I'll just email you what it. Because I, I, when you're on the spot, you're like, I don't know. I don't know. Some dude, Cleveland Steamer, leaving a log on your one night stand chest the next morning. How many times does that happen? Quite a few. That's a that's a Cleveland Steamer. Also, that's a com also a common saying after Chad's MLC appearances. <laughs> oh, a clear i mean they, they all these things all have names but how many times have you take you had a one night stand you took a shit on someone's chest like it couldn't happen a lot right it doesn't happen that often i've never done it uh ronnie king check calling you liars jesus cut them loose i hope i hope carl uh does a good uh uh what, oh, what yeah, is this lying? is a whole episode of watp no but i'm just saying like if someone if you're lying to somebody you know just say okay well, these are the lies you know one thing i did Bob, i didn't come did. i didn't even know i was coming on today and when no, kevin tagged thing, me in the tweet to me i never gave you bad advice ever on the phone call i really sat there and talked to you i told you i just thought you were that, playing me i don't play people chad i don't do that and, and the main thing was I said you should go to counseling and talk about your past because otherwise have. that is your future. That is your future because you can never I've been in and out of counseling my whole adult life. Well, that, well, do it somewhere right where you can just get past that and move on and be happy and not have, you know, all those bad uh, things going through your mind. I'm going to go on the crab feast. What? I got, I got such pleasure from that show being shut down. 
I heard five dollars. Chad shares personal stories on a comedy podcast, but it shocked people make jokes. Carl's right, being funny, that's foreign to him. Don't drag Carl in the car. Everybody likes Carl now. Don't get don't don't uh yeah. speaking of uh f- speaking of funny, I'll be at the Wesley Chapel side splitters this weekend, Friday and Saturday, four shows and next Thursday. Yeah, and then when you tweet about that, then you say uh Kevin doesn't work anywhere. No. Family for life. Yeah, you did. I saw it. Finally, for life. Uh, first of all, there's a guy who's doing the Lord's work, and he 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 uh, gets all your deleted tweets before you delete them. Bob Lee for life. Uh, uh, Eleven dollars. What are we doing here? Chad was urging his his fans to strike MLC Channel one week earlier. Tell him on. Tell him to get on his knees and ask for forgiveness, or put the final bullet into his career. I've been hearing my career is over for fifteen, twenty years. So hopefully, it'll be over next next year yeah but fucking managers are cruel yeah who cares like just, when, it doesn't especially matter when you work at chick-fil-a say. yeah it doesn't matter what people say you no know i don't I mean? care I, I mean i i there's you know you have good days you have bad days it's you know how it yeah. is do you know okay has chad ever taken responsibility for anything have you ever taken like a cleveland steamer and taken responsibility for that chad have you ever taken it'd be like i did it that was me True story. I, I didn't flush over Gladwell's house two days ago. You didn't flush? I forgot to flush. And you took a dump? No, I was just being stupid. LOS, $5. Hey, Pudshark, cut your losses and team up with Tukey. <laughs> yeah, they wanted, and the Tukey guy wanted, because they watch your show too, and they wanted me to come on. And I like, I didn't go on because I was like, I don't, I'm trying to make Who's good Tukey? Men. He make They watch your show. They watch me Who's watch Tukey? your show. He's from the WATP world. They're, uh, oh. I was like, they asked me to come on, and he's been cool. And I was just like, I, I'm trying to make amends. I'm trying to do the right thing. Uh, Clever Ritz, a whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing. We'll make you happy. <laughs> what is that? What does that even mean? It's a song. Oh, a whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing. We'll make well, you happy. Uh, well, oh, the Partridge family. Oh, the Partridge family. family. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's a song, Kevin. Sing yeah, it kind of came out of nowhere. We weren't talking about though, and we weren't talking about uh. But he's trying to change the tone, or maybe he's talking to somebody else in the chat. If Chad cries, I'm I'm, I'm gonna come. <laughs> I looked up to you. Yeah, the super chats would have been higher if Chad cried. That's I can my still prediction. do it. I That's can my... act. I'm a good actor. I can cry. Dave D. Yeah, your stuff with Florentine when you were when you had the the clips on Florentine were actually funny. Uh, Don Jameson is not as good in them, but you were actually believable and. Uh, oh, thanks. Funny. But uh, but that was what, script as that a was, waiter. Well, whatever they used to have these things they would do. Which one was it? Which one was it? And when Chad, Wasn't when he... Florentine was the waiter, then Florentine okay. was a therapist for a while. Uh, uh, David D, uh, uh, California, eleven dollars. Who are these YouTube videos? Who are these YouTube videos? Who? Oh, ah, uh, Dave. I don't even know what that means. But yeah. thank you, Dave. 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 What is he saying? Anybody know? No. Yeah. No, and I did. I thank Carl afterwards for helping out because I didn't expect him to reach out. And it was one of those things like he came at me at a wrong time. I'm a, I didn't know him very well. And then, you know, it don't matter. It don't matter. They don't they don't know what you're good. They don't know what you're going through. But Ronnie King, yeah. final is Chad Snipe stream Florentine's new show doing the same stuff in your deluded mind. Doing that would be doing him a favor. Oh, yeah, they're on right now. Yeah. Snipe stream their show. <laughs> I want to talk to David Coverdale. No, I'd love to see Florentine be like, what what are you doing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's with the music? <laughs> James Jones, huh. Bob, where's the testicle tiger? Fucking Chad. It's here. You just keep it there? It's, it's always right. It's either oh, it's up or It's been a crazy day. Shit, it's seven o'clock. Adam, you gotta yeah. go anywhere? No, I'm good. Wouldn't that be funny if I just came on to announce my new show at Compound Media? Yeah, I, I would, I, I would wish you well, as Ray Devito would say, because uh, what a shit show that place is. Addicted to the profits, Car, uh, Iraq, who puts no value on anything we do, is watching you live stream, and then he texts Carl, uh, and it's like uh, Iraq it tre- treats us all like garbage, or at least me. Addicted to the profits, Shuli's producers dropped out after he called Gina Levy a horrible mother and talked crap about Bob's stepdaughter. LOL. Chad, take responsibility. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that, and I'm going to tell you that. I did, right I now. did. I'll take the heat for I that one. I had nothing to I, I, do I said with that. Was that. Be a problem. Okay, 
could we squash that beef? Like, I don't want any beef with your wife. I'm sorry. I, I mean, it just you got it escalated. Because they, you, you, you don't know anything about them. You know what I mean? They don't know about me either. They don't know about me. They know about what you said. Well, there's but more to it. And, you know, if you, it is what it is. I don't know anything about, I just know what I know, what I, what I, what I heard. I heard uh, she looked like Ariana yeah, how, Grande and she's hot. That's all uh, I heard. How is she a bad mother? It's, it's, it's over, Bob. I, I, I'm, at the time I was upset and mad. So I'm sorry with that, with your wife, with that. Squash that. Cause that's something I don't want to, I want to argue with your wife. Are you well, kidding? She doesn't want to argue either. Well, let's just, let's just, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sure she, she meant something different and we fucked up. And it was actually it would, sticking up for you of what you went through. Okay. I, I okay. took it the wrong way. And I'm sure she took what I said the wrong way too. When, when the guy said, uh, I'm talking shit about your, and I wasn't. I just said, I heard she's hot. So like, send me a photo. I want to jerk off because that's what you were okay. saying about my mom. And it was yeah, like I was going to jerk off on a picture and mail it back to you. Do you really think I was going to do that? I know, truthfully? but it was a joke. And I was just joking, okay, too. But it's like you, it, was it, a wasn't, it wasn't a joke when you get off of here and then you go, oh, he, Bob was going to do this. Bob was going to do that. You really think I was going to fucking do that? I don't know. No. No, you ate blue cheese out of a woman's ass. So that was fucking years ago, and I don't that know, was fucking blow a load killer, on a photo. I'm, I'm going to jerk off on your mother's picture and mail it back to you. I honestly okay. believe that, but I'm, yeah, I'm come sorry. on, dude, <laughs> dude, I'm 60 years old. I'm going to jerk off on your mom's picture, send it back, and come under this damn so I didn't have to lick it. Come on, <laughs> see there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Listen up in this. Yeah, and somebody just reminded me that uh, you uh, you put a banner up on your screen. Report this channel uh, up in this. It's all a blur in the past. Uh, Chad, but it's but it's funny. It's, it's not a defense or excuse to, to criminal or immoral behavior. And this guy's from Canada, so he knows. Bob Lee for life. He's a good egg too. It is raining down here. So that guy's in St. Pete was right. So Story. Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow was not lying. Yeah. The lamest thing about Chad, one of many, is, is he's just not funny. Also, as a total baby, can't take a modicum modicum of criticism. Baby hack. Cut him loose. Baby hack. I like that. Baby hack. He's a baby hack. Thanks, God, Dave. They're, they're working late tonight out there, aren't they? Jesus. Uh, is that real or is that just a no, it's sound real. effect? No, it's real. Sounds like a chainsaw. They're just even out the finishing of the ground. Unknown comic. Chad, take a deep breath. Ask Kevin Conley how to move forward and stop talking about the past. But the past yeah. is all we have. Yeah, it's in the past. I'm going to start smoking cigarettes, too, to do this fucking You'll show. never be this cool. That's true. 40% never. is traffic, and the other 60% was his cousin. I think that's you're talking about your uh, rap sheet. Wow. Well, it's not that bad. That's an old, that's an old chat. We gotta get caught up. Chad lies all the time. He stole credit cards. It is obvious, and he still lies. Chad lies more than he. It's like a. It's like a Dr. Seuss thing. Chad lies all the time. He stole credit cards. It's obvious, and he still lies. Chad lies when he tells the truth. Chad is the worst. Rodney King. Would you still take the lie detector thing in Atlantic City? Yeah, Kevin? because you guys are so misinformed on everything. No, you just, I'm, you're, you're, nobody's you're misinformed. You're literally nobody's going off said, one arrest report when there was another one, and nobody. Those wouldn't to, even. Those may not even be the questions. And the and then, then Ray DeVito's like, yeah, I already bought Twitter followers with a stolen credit card, and that's how he got caught. Just, okay, Ray. Yeah, you fucking dummy. He's the dumbest guy ever. I'm not. I'm not done nobody's with him. He's arguing with you. Watch okay. a show tonight, though. It's uh, on the Ray DeVito channel. Probably for life. Credit to Johan Melendo in the chat for bringing this up. Chad has constantly been burning his mouth about KB and his marriage lately. Yeah, Chad, it's like, first of all, everybody's talking about how my marriage is failing. My marriage is doing great. So uh, I don't want to jinx it, but it's been doing well lately. So uh, I don't know. I don't know where everyone's getting their information, but, uh, but uh, keep. Uh, my name out of your mouth. Or I heard one of the other custodians was talking at the building. Yes, yeah, so, somebody saying you're a custodian, and somebody saying <laughs> Which, you're going through not, divorce. It, it's not true, but uh, being a super or a custodian is a uh, is a great gig. The guy in my building, uh, mm -hmm. I think he gets free rent, and uh, and they pay him nicely, and he seems very happy. So uh, most places, being a custodian is a is a thankless job in the in the New York City tri-state area. It's a fucking killer gig. 
And I don't know who was talking about that on their show, but that's a fact. Maybe Melton was talking about it. Uh, Sonny Billy Wagner, send Brad Thacker. <laughs> send dude, Brad Thacker the link. Head case, dude. Yeah, he wants to be on the show. Yeah, he's he's mental. He pretends like we were friends. Like I knew him since 2005. I met him. I did one gig with him with Florentine, and he's just been obsessed with me. It's so weird. He's um, sexually. I don't know, man. I don't know him. I, I really don't know him. Blindy, uh, he wants to do a rusty trombone. Blinky Jedi, Mike Marsh, great guy. I think I, thought, I was talking about Marsh. Marsh, the guy on the internet. Hmm. Marsh. The sound of those sounds, the sound of the sound in the background is really weird. It just sounds it's like a horror film. Finishing no, it's, a job no, it sounds like shitty music. It's but, they're finishing. This is what they no, have to do. No, it just sounds funny. It sounds like a really bad band warming up or something. Nice. Find out. Chad, Kevin's trying to... Chad, Kevin's trying to help you. Do you want a beer drinking friend or an audience? I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, that's true. Nice. Yeah, okay. Chad's like thinks it's like he needs friends to have beers with. Yeah, Chad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen. Uh, at, this point, at this point, at this what? I wasn't trying to get your your channel i knew i knew what it was doing they're not going to do anything live it's stupid. he literally trying to get your channel removed from youtube and now it's begging to be free this show is a work yeah i wish hmm. then why do i have an ulcer if this show is a work yeah i know why am i like going to bed with what like, like you know why why have i aged like five years in the last two weeks jimmy i wow i came back from a rusty trombone chad's here <laughs> let's heal should I get the boys to do a hype train? <laughs> no. Can I don't have a YouTube page? <laughs> they they do. You have your backup YouTube page. It sucks. Uh, Sing Chad refused to even admit he did anything wrong. Accused you two of being liars while asking you to do him a favor. Is Peak Chad? Yeah, he's not wrong. Call this no, episode I mean, Peak Chad. I think he came through later. I think this was earlier. He came through with some, you know truths and how he felt i think this is from earlier but he did he did say you know certain things it, i mean it escalated i was just hurt is that am i allowed to say i'm hurt yeah okay here's the thing i i was never trying to hurt you i was only trying to help you because i wouldn't have spent that much time doing it and i knew the show was working i knew whatever if you wanted to work two days that's fine and and that was it. Uh, Sad Zumak, if I didn't lose my channel, I would still be snipe streaming. That's a fact. So why would you remove the strikes? Never would have stopped on my own. Yeah. No, I was, I was. I did two episodes on my other channel, and I, I said this is stupid. This is dumb. Did you do that before the strikes? Did I do it before? Yeah. No, I got it afterwards. I was like, then I just said this is dumb. I go, where am I going with this? This is dumb. All right. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I don't have to debate. I know what happened, but I, you know, um, I'm kind of, um, I saw it with Sad Zumak. You know, it is what it is. I understand. I Listen, I've been doing this a long fucking time. Mm -hmm. So, so starting from Bobby Kelly, I'm not talking about my stand-up career. I'm talking about podcasting. I've been doing this a long time. So I know, I know shit's going to happen. Like I know shit's going to happen. End of story. So, so were you gonna were you gonna stop if I if you didn't no you weren't gonna stop if you didn't get a strike that's why I did a fucking strike because I knew I or was, otherwise you weren't gonna fucking stop so 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 Sadzumak's right but on the other hand it's like I know shit's gonna happen I didn't know when you quit the show you're gonna snipe stream it but when it happened I wasn't surprised I wasn't like oh this is this is crazy. I wasn't, wasn't surprised at all because I, like I said, I've been doing this for since 2016. It was never my plan to do it. I know. Like I, 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 I'm not saying it was anybody's plan. It, there's no plans, but, 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 but the one thing happens, the cause and effect, uh, a reaction to any reaction, whatever. I didn't, I didn't, I failed physics. Anyway, the, the point is something happened. Something's going to happen in a reaction to it. That's, that's life. And that's definitely podcasting. LOS, right now, it's the bottom line. Must have fallen out of the catalytic converter black market. The bottom must have fallen out of the catalytic converter black black market. I read it twice. Uh, uh, the second time probably better, but he's saying that uh, you're back here because you can't steal catalytic converters anymore. See, out of all the stuff that's being said about me, that one's so dumb because Kumi just made it up, and everyone's like, "That's what happened." 
<laughs> yeah, so that, that I just can't see you. I, I can't see you having the balls to steal a catalytic converter. I don't even know what that is. He couldn't even put a light in the front of his house. He's going to steal something from a car. I couldn't even yeah, hang a mirror. I mean, first of all, it's the easiest way to get killed is, is to try to steal something from underneath some dude's car, which I'm assuming right. that's where it is. And uh, if you if a guy walks up on you, you're he's just going to shoot you right in your nutsack. And and so is it worth it? First of all, you have to have a partner, and and I don't think Chad's that good at uh, uh, people skills. Nice ten dollars. Oh my god, Kevin's trying to help help you. All these podcasts have fifty shows. No one who actually has a job can follow them. Uh, MLC Monday to Thursday, four p.m. Friday, five p.m. That's it. Besides, Kevin is funny as shit. Uh, left my. I think he's talking to Chad. Oh my God, Kevin's trying to help help you help you. All these podcasts. All right, all right. I'll read this one later. Thank you, nice. I don't even know which nice this is, but it, it is nice. Didn't you think nice was me? Yeah, nice is you. It's not me. No, I'm at this the- point, at this point, all I know is what I can see. He's not and, nice. And, and, if, and, if, <laughs> and if and if you're in my house, uh, then I know that's you. Everything else is. You know, like I'm a, I, I, you know, whatever. Anyway, Ziggy Kruger. Uh, and then, uh, anyway, Chad repeatedly told his audience to report MLC. He would have gladly destroyed your channel. Don't swallow. No, I want it. I wanted Bob to quit well, saying that about. He me. didn't have. He didn't have the. He didn't have the goods. He didn't have any. He didn't. He. he I know. Five dollars. We all know Chad has tried to screw with people's lives and YouTube channels. He just lies about it. No, that's not true. I'm guessing you're not Rodney King. I literally just talk shit online and everyone just gets, they, oh, oh, you oh do, my God, he's gone too far. You do way more than that and you have gone too far. And let, you told, told, told Pat Oswald's wife to, uh, yeah, wife to sleep with one eye open. Yeah, they were because I was a pile on with him and Chris Titus. It was out of control. And let me tell that Chuck Mangione, I never cried. I said, dude, what the fuck are you doing? I called him and we talked it out. And then he calls me when he was out. He was like, you want to go fishing? And I'm like, okay. Uh, Dilly, five dollars. Bob is here. The liar is here. Is this a rerun? Yeah, it's a rerun. Uh, hashtag no Chad, no this more. Rerun. What was it Bob? Bob and Kevin are here. No, we're in summer. We're in summer rerun season. The, uh, <laughs> it, after sweeps, sweeps, after sweeps in May, we go right to reruns. JG, uh, love seeing you three together. Still remember that very special Esmix Smith S. Christmas episode, <laughs> episode where Kevin and and Bob saved a life. Oh yeah, uh, no, that was yeah. Oh yeah, we did a Christmas episode. Yeah, yeah. Because he thought Chadley was gonna uh, take it bad. Anyway, we had some good times. <laughs> <laughs> Will this make the best of? Days. Will Joseph, this make the best of? Joseph G. Chad loves excuses. Piazza. By the picture? way, me getting uh, Lenny Dykstra, Piazza would never have been a thing, even though it was a terrible episode. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You you, you never know what you're going to get. Even if the shit show, it's still, I mean, you might get something out of it. Chad Wines, you talk about him. He has a show dedicated to going up to Kumia. Chad does all the things he criticizes others for. No, oh, but he's just up doing yourself. a show about everybody's going at him. So him doing a show is, is actually funny, especially if you do it, you know, it, in a funny way, it, people are going to come. There's no doubt about it. You, you shouldn't just have to sit there and, you know, at least do what they're doing and make money off it. And I was doing well with just that before I did Kevin's show. Like, I was doing pretty good with that. I should have, you know, I didn't Chad, expect Chad, it. Chad, if you would have just sniped through my show, I mean, Ray's, Ray doesn't do anything of any value. Va- of any value really and he's still doing okay so you would have made money if you just if you just shut your fucking mouth and and stop trying to fucking piss me off on top of snipe streaming my show on top of on top of using my music and graphics and telling people on the scroll uh to strike my channel yeah i thought Uh, using your graphics was funny you you said on the show on your on your show it says with kevin brennan (laughs) i think it's funny yeah to you do you remember the Seinfeld episode when he took the Merv no. Griffin set? Oh, so it was just like that. You're paying home homage to the yeah. uh, to the Seinfeld episode. <laughs> KB should be out of the Chad, Chad business. He's been trashing you, Bob and Adam, for two weeks straight every day while simulcasting your podcast. Mm. You brought Andy into it too. That's fucking pathetic. Pecker, nineteen eighty one. I don't know what I said about it, Andy. We got a lot I... of fans in Canada today. Bob, I believe for life is the leader. He's he's the uh, and and are you Eddie Baker? No. I guess I will find out in August if you're Eddie Baker, if you yeah. have the balls to show up. But but yeah, we'll we'll, we'll find out if you're Eddie Baker. Addicted things, 
Addicted right on cue. Addicted thinks you'll pass a lie detector because you lie so much that you'll pass it. I don't think you can, truthfully. I don't think uh, you can lie if you're even if you're a good liar, it, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. I don't care if I fail. So bring oh, it on. Oh, really? He's already setting it up. I don't care if I fail. <laughs> I mean, fucking, he doesn't get one. You're gonna call me right. a liar, whether I, I pass or not. I'm a, I'm a liar, so it doesn't matter. L addicted. LOL. Chat on numbers. LOL. Chat on numbers. Chat. MLC fans are living in the Manhattan penthouses. Dutch hawks live in basement apartments with no windows in the Bronx. What? Why is he shitting on the Bronx? Anyway, he, uh, in a barn. Someone's, he lives in a barn. No, he lives in a beautiful house on the house. Wait, <laughs> LOL, Chad on numbers. Chad, MLC fans are living in a Manhattan. Uh, Dutch Hawks live in a basement apartment. All right. No, Chad doesn't have any fans in the Bronx. I, I think that's pretty. Uh, uh, I don't know where his fans live. I don't know. I, I Yeah, I'd like to meet some, but I don't think they live in the Bronx because uh, uh, they got better shit to do. <laughs> They're busy up in the Bronx. They got better shit to do. Then, then watch the mud shark snipe stream me. I can't even see people in the Bronx watching any fucking uh, any podcast. Like they're 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 at, they're lit. It's rough up in the Bronx. Bobby, ever go up there? Yeah, not a long time. You know, you used to go up there a lot, Rich Voss, because he's every every drug dealer story he has. He's like either Upper Manhattan or or Washington Heights or the Bronx. Really fucking classic stuff. We get, we gotta get him on one day. Gyro. KB only has a family. What a loser, right? I have I have friends, yeah. No, I know, because I don't have time for friends, and I pride myself on that. Uh, A-L-B, Art and Entertainment. Chad doesn't have a beef. He just has salmon. I, I really did. I just had it. <laughs> More salmon? Yeah, I had salmon for dinner before you I jumped on. can't off. go wrong with it. You know, trying Bob, is it still light out? They're still working, dude. This is this is it. They're they done. one of those big, uh, those big uh, uh, searchlights on on the on the hole. No, Probably for done. life. Uh, I envision that Saddam Hussein pulled the same uh, victim pity act when the seals put out of his rat hole. Don't buy into this guy. I bet he did. He'd be like, "Oh my God, thank God you guys found me." Oh, this guy is just going to go looking for you. Uh, oh, my God. I was getting hungry. Thank God. Oh, I know. People always say that I look like Saddam Hussein. They say they've been saying that for years. I'm not him, but I can I can help you find him. Thank you, Saddam. Did you get that Robert O'Neill? He was the guy who who uh, who, who uh, yeah. pretended to uh, shoot. Uh, uh, what's his name? I did, I did Kumia with him. What's it? Who did he, who did he shoot? Osama bin Laden in the head. Yeah, bin Laden. Yeah, he was. He's the guy who took credit. All the other guys are like, "Yeah, we'll let him take credit because he wants to do podcasts." Uh, uh, addicted. Ski mask is my hero because I will get you. Ski mask is my hero because I will get you deported from the Bahamas next. It's called a joke, Chad. Ski mask. Ski mask still watching, or is he on the? Is he on back on the bottle? <laughs> is he still there? Is he still waiting? No, we we cut him loose. Uh, Officer Tubbs, five dollars. Chad, what did you do to me in the sauna? Was not Chad. <laughs> what you did to me in the sauna was not pleasant. Tubbs, <laughs> Crockett and Tubbs. A great show, great outfits, great fucking backdrop, just great all the way around. I've got nothing to lose except my lunch watch. <laughs> I've got nothing to lose except my lunch watching this. I'm going to see if I can get KB's $100 to go to Compound. Welcome back, Rev. Uh -huh. He still wants us to get Kumi on, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> X, 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 Stention for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I, he, I, they put so many people in, he'll, he'll probably go in. Yes, Tina Turner. I guess I got to give her a shout out. I think she's in two different times or something. What'd she die from? She's being an old lady. She's back with Ike. Yeah, he came back from the dead. Ted, uh, five dollars. Chad, did you learn anything from KB and Bob? I hope you did. You can't live life like this. I hope you never have to give this speech to your kids, KB. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my kids were like Chad. Jesus, I guess we do a podcast together. If they were, yeah. Anyway, you never know. Yeah, Chad, you yeah. think? Uh, anyway, Guillermo, are Chad and Bob back for good? Nothing. I might not be back for good. Uh, I have to see I if might, Kevin's I might, coming this might on be tomorrow. my last show of the week. <laughs> Is it your Wi Fi going? Yeah, on? I don't even know. Yeah, it's Kevin's. My wife, my wife, my Wi Fi might be a little something. Uh, Ronnie loves MLC. Uh, 
Uh, Chad's doctor. What? Somebody else read this. Chad's doctor, he don't help either. He told him to run five miles a day for two weeks. He called him up and said, hey, doc, I'm 70 miles from my house. <laughs> that Rodney's funny. <laughs> Artie Lang had a joke about uh, running. and He ran to St. Louis. Yeah, something about that. Let's go, Brandon. Five dollars. Chad is the man. My chart. Jesus Christ. Guys, <laughs> Look at the picture of you. That guy's been wanting me to come back to your show for a long time. Let's go, Brandon. Raymond B, five dollars. Chad, split the money you made off of this show with Kevin. Maybe he will show mercy. What? Uh, split the money that he made oh. doing your show. Just like split the strikes. <laughs> Take the split the strikes in half. That's all I'm asking. But can Super Kevin big. trust you? Okay. And I, it, I know. I already know the answer. Super B, nine dollars. Chad defeats Kevin. Chad defeats Kevin's bad Defeat breath. Kevin's bad breath. Nine ninety nine. What does that even mean? Is that my Wi Fi? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, uh, how can Kevin? Hello. And I, basically, take your can word. Can you see that, me, or is it just me? What? I don't know what happened. Yeah, am I losing my Wi Fi? Yeah, Chad definitely froze. Kevin, Chad you're froze. spotty. Yeah, I think Chad everyone. I think everyone in the house is like now on Wi-Fi. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably. No, like, it, this no, is the it's, perfect it's, ending it's to Chad. a show. I don't know if anybody can hear me. Yeah, now you can hear you. Yeah. It, uh, Ray. Yeah, Ray's pea stained pink sta uh, sheets. I want an apology for the chat saying I'm Chad. <laughs> Adam, we can't do two dollars super chats anymore. We just gotta. We gotta keep it moving. No offense to uh, Kevin. Stand your yeah, ground. I'm skipping most of them, but I all right, that was funny. All right, uh, I'm getting all sweaty, and my Wi-Fi is sweaty too. My Wi-Fi yeah. is. Uh, Kevin, stand your ground. Uphold the strikes, Chad. Tend to tend to the grounds. Get a job as a landscaper. Uh, hashtag demonetize Chad. That's rude. Age of Quarrel's been by my side this whole time, so I appreciate Age of Quarrel. I I did landscape when I was younger. I was, and I liked brutal. it. Yeah. I had like we put headphones in. It was fun. Tommy yeah. Seven Names. All the guys at the gym called Chad. Tommy Dorsey, best trombone player ever. <laughs> Tommy Seven Names. I missed the trombone thing. I don't. I'm lost on that one. Uh, Kevin, where do you go up? I yeah, that's a good point. Bob, where do you go up? Uh, I don't go up. No, you're at Tiff's next week, right? I know. I just work. I, if I can go up, what the fuck? No, is that's that? what Brian McCarthy used to ask everybody. Where do you go up? That was that was his way to ask, do your plugs. I'm going up tonight. Uh, keep inviting Bob, please, Kevin, and please uh, keep coming back, Bob. You two balance each other out perfectly. A L B Art and Entertainment, Cal uh, Can Canada, five fifty. You see, I, I'm thinking, hold on. I'm thinking that if you do take the strikes off, okay, or whatever, you would have to have, because just because you may not be telling the truth now, you would have to sign something. Yeah, I'll sign something. Yeah, for sure. I mean, because to make it legal that, you, you know, you're out of all our business, uh, whatever. You know what I mean? That you're yeah. fucking no more anything. You know, because you got to realize in, in life, you know, whatever, the internet, you know, everybody's far from each other. Okay. But if people do see each other in real life, something can happen. It's stupid. You know what I mean? Over but something you, stupid. But you've even said it in person. When, when you run somebody in person, it's all gone. It's like whatever well, happens. That's what I'm saying. But if it's still, if it's still not gone, you have to deal with that at that moment. I'm saying I'm not, I would never do anything in person. I mean, come on. It's I'm not saying you. I'm saying you put yourself in a position that something could happen. And is is that worth it? That's what I'm trying to say. Because if people do meet in person and say one doesn't want to, you get what I'm saying? I'm trying. It's I'm a not, situation I'm... over stupid shit. Over stupid shit. Like with listeners or, or just? No, talking? with anybody. With us. With anybody. But I'm saying it just you, you, it's to a point where it's just not the internet, like you say, because we know each other. Mm -hmm. So if we meet in person and one of us doesn't feel that it's done or it's it's cool, 
then it's, it's, it, it happens then. And so that's I, not, I should leave my gun at home. Somebody just said, hurry up. Uh, I left my chicken tacos at the bar. Uh, Barry Wood and okay. The re the re this reunion makes Africa happy. We're watching it live from the bush. Cincinnati bow tie is a personal favorite, by the way. I think that's another, uh, like a rusty trombone Cincinnati bow tie. I'll have to look that up later. Uh, okay. So Chad is back for sweet sweets. Nice plot <laughs> twist. Now stop. Now stop McCarthy blocking us and get him on Roy Al Miller. Six what happened to him? He was supposed to be yesterday. Yeah, he he got he he couldn't see his way out of it. No, I don't know. He had he had another delay. Uh, he had to meet the Pope or something. I don't know something. Uh, regardless of how this ends, it's unanimous that Chad can't call himself a mud shark for or any kind of shark for that matter. After this, right? Yes. By the way, Ke Kevin, you're the one who gave me that name, mud shark. Right. Like, yeah, I know so, it's my fault. So uh, I, so I'm, I, I'm responsible for all your mud sharking behavior because I you gave, gave you the me name. the name and we just ran with it and it became a thing and and I I don't know then it became merch and then the merch got pulled and yeah. now we're here. Clifford Ritz, the Partridge Family song was uh, to cheer you guys up, but hearing Bob saying it cheered me up on this hump day. Thanks, Bob. You got it, Clifford. Clifford Ritz. Clifford Ritz in the house. Addicted. By the way, if we do a football poll with Ray and Carl and MLC fans, Chad can enter it and we can win back his lost super chat money. <laughs> I'm reading him so fast. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Ronnie King, three dollars. But oh, this, don't this, bring that up. Does Chad have a roommate? Yeah. You might have to get one if we don't lift the strike. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And you guys want to move in. They can both have their own refrigerator. Chad said all, about all that. Chad said all that about Bob's family. Bob just lights up another cigarette. Tear him a new one. KB for life. Yeah, Bob's a class act. I've been saying that no, for no, years. I, I, I'm just explaining situations like what I said. And no, I know. That's what it well, we is. don't have it's time. Like, we don't have. We don't have time. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're trying to just clarify, but 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 yeah, you could still you still handle it way better than. Uh, Bob, I I'm sorry I, I for would've. jumping off half cocked and and never giving you the better of that out. I apologize about that. I just never, I never tried to. I know you anything wrong. And I, okay, and I, I took it the wrong way. I, but I was hurt. I was hurt. There's no way to take it. I acted know. out. EGN, Chad, I really want to like you, but when you go on, you go against Kevin Areb, I can't abide. I, at least you aren't a headbang wearing Piazza hamburger. EGN yeah. is fantastic. Because to, to draw the headband in there is is just, uh, and then to close it with a hamburger. It's like, that's, uh, remove the strikes, Kevin. Clef turn up. Yeah, this guy's a real big Chad fan, so uh, I'm not going to do a Clef turn up. I had first. to get Bob and Tom to re remove a strike. And then what, the, what Bob had to come out of retirement to do it? or <laughs> No, no I, I emailed their producer because I had a strike on there, and I had like 16 days left, and I got two strikes from you. I'm like, well, maybe Bob and Tom will, because I left Bob and Tom show bad blood, but they were cool. They're like, yeah, we'll take it down. And and for like two hours, and all of a sudden, another strike came in from Kevin. I'm like, I can't we'll fucking win. John, $5. I've been a hater of Chad. Kevin, be the bigger man. Give him his channel back. It escalated out of control. You three work great together. Yeah, for a week at a time. <laughs> Don't worry. Ray DeVito will be back tomorrow. Nice. 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 One hundred dollars. Thanks. Nice. Stop the insanity. KLC is the shit. I don't care what anyone thinks. This is nice. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice a lot. <laughs> the, the day he gave me three hundred dollars, you were like, That's Chad. Chad. Chad's doing it. He's giving himself money. I'm like, like yeah. people are telling me it's nice. Plus he comes in all red as his and his that yeah, I was not happy when I saw that. It was not nice for me, that's a fact. <laughs> <Good energy. laughs> not, you were fucked up over Borgo. Oh, was so funny watching you for two days deal with it. <laughs> yeah, Borgo and then Borgo calls me. He's like, I'm trolling him. I'm like, yeah, great job. Great, great troll job. Troll me I'm, every day. I'm fucking your wife. I'm trolling her. <laughs> Lenny's printer, $10. Individual, individual, I can't stand any of you, but the three of you together is peachy. Uh, KB played dirtier than you, Chad, which which you must respect. Bottom line is that Earl Skakel has a Patreon. <laughs> yeah, go <laughs> sign up for it. Yeah, it's at 10. Listen, man, I, gotta I take just a got pass. it going. 
I gotta take Officer a Gonza- Gonzalez. Uh, wait, let me do I paid over $10. I'm not saying that no one's going to have no more excuses for chat. Okay. Like a mark, I paid over $1,000 over the past six months. No more if this lowlife ever appears again or if you remove the strikes. Bob, no more excuses for Chad's BS. 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 He never says sorry. Uh, this is from a, a New York City police officer, too. Is that so. she really an officer? Yeah, beautiful lady. Yeah, I'd like to. What'd you do? You like, they wouldn't even frisk me. I asked them. We, Hook my handcuffs up. Right two ladies. Uh, Northwest Ken, glad to see that one third of the KB's audience is back. Over 1,000 live views. Don't, don't even go there because then it's going to be like, it's, I can't. I, I really can't. I can't play the numbers game. I I, I love uh, who who is that Northwest Ken? I love Northwest Ken, but it's like I, I listen. The, the the fact of the matter is, it's like when I I I'm doing a show, so I can see the numbers right in front of me. Right, it's they're right above my head. So when the numbers go up and down, yeah, it does it does uh it, it does get annoying, especially you know whatever. Mark Adabis said ten dollars. Chad, check your door for coleslaw. There's got there better be coleslaw. I'll check. Yeah, now yeah, now we can do the super chats faster since nobody's here to interrupt me. Every example you brought up of Chad beefing with someone has ended with him saying it got out of hand. Yeah, exactly. So Thanks, Dave. Bill from Jersey, twenty dollars. What did I miss? Bill from Jersey. He's, he's another, great. He's another long, uh, a staunch Chad fan. He's a big Opie guy too. Lives at the beach. Is yeah. at the beach in his in his background. Addicted to the profits. Uh, hey, I'm with Bob Lee for life. As hey, I am with Bob Lee for life as your number one Canadian fan. I th- oh, I, I thought he was Bahamas, but I guess he's from Canada. I was oh, just wow. smart enough to get out of Canada. Yeah, he he's smart. He went from he went from fucking uh, Canada to the Bahamas. Where's Vinny Cash? He usually comes in for something like this. I mean, no, he yeah. didn't, he ain't coming in for Chad. Uh, let, let, let me get that straight. I, I don't care at the ski mask and that guy were at friends. I was just mad that he was talking shit. That's all it was on me. That was it. And, I'm not, nice. and I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I'm cool. Nice. Ten dollars. Ray's gonna make more money than Gina when Gina goes on vacation. Ray will make uh thir- three thousand one hundred dollars. Gina will make three thousand thirty thousand dollars. Washman's cleaning lady makes six. <laughs> Washman's cleaning lady. Oh my God! Yeah, Ray. Uh, uh, Northwest Ken. I mean, how hilarious with the chat says he plays in the mud, then start, then started freaking out when he found out KB lives in the mud. Because I'm a, because yeah. I'm a super. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a custodian. Mud. Yeah, I'm, I'm a custodian, and I and I deal with clogged uh, toilets most of the time, and and clearing water out of the basement. Uh, Sadzumak, please wrap this up. My chicken something is getting cold, and this guy don't fuck around. It's not chicken something. Wasn't chicken tacos, but it was chicken something. I know what I said. It's not true. <laughs> That's a T-shirt. Oh yeah, is that, that it... is a T-shirt. Uh, Northwest Ken Chad, you said uh, you said KB struck your channel three times, but you've also met that Bob and Tom had a strike on your channel. Which one is it? No, it was Bob and Tom. Then Ke- as soon as they removed it, Kevin came in with another one. So if even if you remove these three, another one could come in. Like somebody read this. I gotta text somebody. Barry Ribs, uh, weirdo, fifty dollars. Pink cheeks, <laughs> Wi-Fi sucks. Go to Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin Donuts already. <laughs> From my oh, Barry Ribs. May? my Wi-Fi yeah. sucks. <laughs> Yo, right. pink cheeks, Wi-Fi sucks. Go to Dunkin' Donuts right, should already. Jump, should I just jump off? Are we almost done, Adam? By the way. Yeah, we are. Yeah, like just a few more. Uh, remember we'll, the we'll anti- film. Yeah, Flatbrook Gino. Uh, exactly. Uh, remember, this is Gino talking. Remember, in the end, I am human garbage or racist, and all of you hate me. By the way, take Eagles and the other in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. All righty, then. Flatbrook Gino. Thank you, Flatbrook Gino. One question. Did Miami win? They didn't beat Boston the other night, right? No, nah, Boston, Boston won. won. Okay, yeah. I'm going to say, I was saying that day, I have a feeling Boston is going to come back and win this series, so put some money down on it. I have well, a feeling. So you, you, make, it's, you get good odds, but they're not going to yeah. come back. Boston it's, it's worth it. I, I have a feeling it's going to happen. Riles, five dollars. Can we all agree on one thing? Uh, fuck. Uh, Julie. 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 Just, Just kidding, Bob. Bob. 
Yeah, he, look, he's Bring a good around. dude, and that's right, it. we're not gonna we we gotta stay on topic. Uh, Chad okay. takes a lot the wrong way. Do you know? Okay, five dollars. I mean, you, dude. Yeah. you know Fuck what you. I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, Mason in Portland. Maybe Chad is telling the truth about not drinking. His hands don't look as shaky as they usually are. I haven't been. I have to be on my A game. Well, that would have been bad if you came in here today drinking. I was hoping well, you, you guys were saying I was like, no, he's probably was drunk. Saying, I said, I hope he does. You know what I mean? I don't think so, because that would that would be not a good. No, I, when I fucked up on that one show, that was a Northwest right. can. Yeah, the, well, that's the Internet's fault. As someone who is constantly asking Chad to ch- asking Chad to people, KB, will you remove only one strike from Chad? As someone who's constantly consistently asking Chad to people, KB, will you remove only one strike from Chad? I still don't know what he's saying. What's he saying? It doesn't. Adam, I don't know. Not sure. Consistently asking Chad two people. Send another super chat at four ninety nine. No, D, just send me a DM, Northwest Ken. I'll I'll bring it up tomorrow. Seriously. Uh, nice ten dollars. I'm Chad. I'm Chad Borgo <laughs> and Shuli. <Julie>. Everybody. <laughs> Wait, he's Chad Borgo and Shuli. Mm-hmm. Nice. nice. <laughs> As someone who's consistently asked, oh, he did. <laughs> he did. As someone who's consistently asking Chad to unblock people, KB, will you remove only one strike from Chad's channel? Was, yeah, he, he asked me to unblock him, and I did. As someone who's consistently asking Chad to unblock, KB, will you remove only one strike from Chad's he channel? He sent me a DM. He said, can you unblock right. me? I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, Leo Gunn, happy to see my favorite band, the Rock and Piazzas, are finally getting back together. Bob on bass, KB on guitar, and Chad on the skin flute. Hashtag uh, rack me. It's good formulatic joke. The punchline's at the end in threes. Uh, I didn't really call our band the Rusty Trombones. That'll sell tickets, and then we can always tell people. KB, uh, nice. Kevin, $20. K- Kevin, you're the greatest. That's nice. Thank you, nice. <laughs> I think we're caught up, too. That's really nice. Nice. Thank you, nice. Oh shit. Uh impure thoughts. Five dollars. Chad is playing you. He can't make money he was making without ripping your content in some way. He will start some form of snipe stream again. I, I I'm prepared for everything. I, I've been I've been through these before. Uh I'm prepared for everything and nothing at the same time. Well, that's I started why with- signing something would be the you know, a good thing to do to cover both of your asses. One of the the episode you struck with uh Chris. Uh, our Brian Johnson, the guy uh, Bob Levy didn't want you to have on, and I took. That's not true. Um, hey. Because he was defending Shuli. And um, that, at the beginning of that episode, I played the, your entire set of at the evening at the improv just to be a dick. <laughs> and that's why you got struck? No, I, you guys struck me. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Sansium or something. Chad, now that you made up, can I have your soldier helmet? Sure, you can have it. I'll sign you it. Sell it, sell it on eBay. Nice, five dollars. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad's lawyer. Just kidding, but fucking funny. How's your lawyer doing? Yeah, tell him to give me. Tell him to. Uh, He's good. DM me. Uh, nice pit stains, KB. I know. I'm told. I told you I'm sweaty, and it's fucking getting hot in here. It's getting you, hot in here. You take your clothes off. You whatever jump that in the pool? Goes. Yeah, the muddy what? pool. Break your head. That was the last mud? one. That was the last one. Yep. Well, no. One just came through. Just in time with the night. Oh, Flimsy Greenberg. He had a classic yesterday. Hey, Chad, I hope you save your receipt from the rope and stool store. <laughs> Otherwise, oh. you're just going to get store credit. The irony is I bought it with a credit card. <laughs> Stolen. All right, let's wrap this motherfucker up. All right, I'm going to take a hot sh- uh, Addicted. We squashed the Dutch <laughs> shark. Now let's get the... Let's get squished the... Uh, uh, gefilte fish store. Julie and I am Jewish, so I am not anti Semitic. Leo Gunn is a huge Geno fan. Sorry, Leo, I had to call you out. Yeah, I know. Leo Gunn, we met in person, but I know he's a Geno fan. He's he dressed like he, he's dressed like Crockett, so he might be friends with Tubbs from the uh, yeah, but um, Leo was at the uh, Leo was at the famous uh, 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 Christmas party. Yeah, uh, we yeah. got one last one. Adam came in, Chad, something. Never mind. Oh, oh thanks, Janet Jacob. That was nice. No, there was All a five dollar right. one. I thought it just came in. We can't. We can't end it on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got that, that, was, nope. that. That was flimsy. It was the five dollar one. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, 
Oh. All right, everybody. We're done. I, uh, Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'll mail it to you right now. Nice. Send me a DM. <laughs> I'll literally go in the uh, mail it right now. You got to sign it, too. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Nice. Thanks, everybody. Long show today. And uh, everyone's mad at my house because uh, uh, mm-hmm. they want me to wrap it up. Teddy the Greek. Glad KLC Radio is back. A pew sound effect. Play uh, ball pew, chat. Pew. I can't take Ray's ADD and his insanity. Uh, oh, you brought flowers. Take my woman. Sure. <laughs> the video is fake. The that video is fake. Ray gave up a lady because the other guy had flowers. <laughs> he's a, he's a Tonight, out of the coffin stain? at nine o'clock. So how can you see my pit stains? Northwest Kent just said, "Oh, that was from, that was from right. before." All right, I'm reading them out of order. Uh, oh, my bad. Now I get what's happening. All right, everybody. Want, if you guys want to jump into another chat room, Florentine, Eddie Trunk, and uh, fucking Jameson are talking to a guy from Poison right now on their YouTube channel. Oh, Brett Michaels. Uh, yeah, Brett Michaels. Wow. So there incredible. you are. And, and sign up to my Patreon. Don't even bother with YouTube. I can't do anything on it. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm jumping off. Uh, you guys do your plugs, and I'll see you tomorrow at 4 o'clock. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Let's stay tuned.